So I think it's a time to start. So I will start uh, my topic. So my topic is uh, building a tiny private open source cloud. Um, so my name is Masek Giga and uh, I'm on uh, free node, GitHub, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, or like that. Uh, you can find uh, my name on the uh, Masek G is uh, my account name. Yeah, let's get started. And uh, you can download my slide from here if you want. And uh, this is the agenda. Um, yeah, like that. But uh, I think, uh, uh, unfortunately, the demo I cannot provide you because there are some of the reasons I will talk about later. And uh, uh, so, disclaimer. This slide my uh, my opinion, so uh, not for my job. And uh, who am I? Uh, I am now currently in uh, working for uh, SUSE. Uh, it's a bit complicated, uh, but uh, uh, I actually moved from HPE um, last uh, two years ago. Two years, one years, yeah, and. Uh, because of the acquisition from HP to SUSE. And uh, my job is now currently the uh, OpenStack cloud. Uh, we have an OpenStack uh, distribution. Uh, the name is uh, op uh, SUSE OpenStack cloud. And uh, I am a software, senior software engineer and an open source programmer. And uh, I am on the OpenStack QA project. And an upstream and downstream development and a core reviewer of like these uh, projects mainly on the QA side. And uh, I also uh, uh, write a book and a review a book, some, but uh, they are uh, only in Japanese. So and, uh, my hobby is uh, bike and uh, diet. <laughs> I'm on the diet actually. Yeah. Next. And uh, what is an open site? So I'm curious. Uh, do you know the open stack? Uh, have you ever heard of that before? Uh, and uh, another question is uh, uh, how many people have you ever been to you uh, have, have been have you ever used open stack? Uh, personally or business? Nobody? Uh, one, two, three, yeah, good, good number. <laughs> so I will talk about uh, uh, briefly. So OpenStack is an open source cloud operating system and within uh, Python. And uh, there are a lot of OpenStack projects. Yeah, OpenStack is not uh, only a unified project. Uh, OpenStack cloud is composed uh, uh, from uh, uh, 65 projects at that time. And so is the uh, uh, architecture of the OpenStack very complicated. This is not all actually. Uh, this is uh, very uh, uh, um, one of them. And uh, released every six months. The latest version is called the Queens. Not yet. Uh, yeah, Queens. And the users are many. Uh, AT&T, uh, American Airlines, uh, BBA. Is a uh, bank and uh, telecommunications and uh, R and D and uh, mobile and uh, cloud vendors and like that, uh, talks and like that. So so many users in, uh, there. And uh, what I did, I did uh, very simple things. Uh, so I got uh, one U servers, three one U servers. And uh, set up the servers, install the OpenSUSE deep, and then install the OpenStack, this <coughs> OpenStack uh, cloud, and that, and they're using the VMs. Not so complicated, right? And uh, so maybe you you are curious about that. Uh, why do I need the private cloud personally? So the first one is a very good exercise to. Uh, learn a compute, uh, so computer architectures 
like computer and network and storage. And the second one is uh, understand the cloud architecture. Not only the computer, but also the cloud architecture. It's very good exercise to do that. And the third one is the use of the VMs of the sandboxes, such as the Kubernetes, and the Mesos, or like uh, the others. Uh, fancy or hard topics uh, these days. So the last thing is fun. So building the uh, hardware and uh, setting up the, a lot of software components is very fun, right? And uh, the other uh, program is uh, how to get the cheap servers. So I don't want to uh, cost for that too much. So I need to get uh, very cheap servers. So, but uh, basically the one new server is very expensive, like thousands or more, thousand US dollars more. Uh, but uh, the solution is a uh, uh, Yahoo auction, uh, it's like uh, eBay. So uh, in the second hand, uh, I, I can get the second hand servers from that uh, site. So yeah, the auction site. Uh, you can see the, a lot of things, uh, a lot of servers from that. And um, yeah, these are uh, colors. Yes. Uh, but uh, I got uh, these servers, Dell Power H R 410. Yeah, I got three servers. And uh, it, the cost is uh, 16 kilo time dollars. It's, it's similar to uh, uh, almost. Uh, 535 has 38 US dollars. Not so expensive. Yeah, right. And, uh, the server has a uh, uh, two CPU, it has six cores, Xeon, and uh, 32 gigabytes RAM, and uh, 250 gigabytes hardware, a uh, hard disk drive, and uh, two hard disk drives. So, uh, actually, not so fast, but uh, it's really better than uh, Raspberry Pi or like that. So it's yeah, it's useful for my use case. So install the servers. Uh, I mean the hardware installs. So the problem is uh, where should I put them? So one is a uh, stack on the floor, but. Uh, if I do that, it's very hard to move uh, like like this. So it's very heavy. So it's very hard to move. And the rack, it's very expensive. I think more than the servers. So the solution is a um, lap rack. So have you ever heard that? <laughs> do you know that? So this is a uh, IKEA. Uh, it's very cheap. <laughs> so you can see the project on that link. So there are a lot of uh, examples for that. This is very unique, I think. Yeah. So, so for my use case, yeah, this is a, uh, a proper but uh, for my use case, uh, it's a bit dark, but uh, I put uh, upside down, right? And then you can see the here, waves, uh, yeah. waves. Right. So I can, I can move to very easily. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, so to be honest, it's a very costly. Uh, I mean, the, the expensive than this, <laughs> luck, luck. <laughs> so, but uh, it's not so pricey. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I put the uh, three one U servers like this. Uh, there is a lot of cables, but uh, yeah, it's very smart. And uh, after that, I installed the open system. Leap. It's so. 
I don't use the automation of things like Autodesk or Ansible, Puppet, or Chef, or whatever like that. I don't use that. I didn't use that. And uh, yeah, it's very simple step. Uh, download the image from that site, and uh, I pick uh, the link, and I buy into the USB. Yeah, you can see the instruction for that. <coughs> And uh, install that from the menu and update it to the latest. It's, it's not so different. <coughs> right. And I also install the OpenStack cloud from that OpenSUSE uh, package. OpenSUSE uh, already provided the uh, OpenStack. Distribution uh, of stack packages. <coughs> so it's not so difficult actually. Uh, we are preparing the document for the installer guide. It has a uh, uh, yeah, open source instruction on that. So there's no issues actually. So read the doc, install from that uh, open, open source repo. And then configure. Yeah, actually, uh, we uh, I need uh, some configuration, but uh, basically not so difficult. But uh, there are one issue. The issue is the my network, my cloud network. So uh, these are uh, this is a uh, uh, my my private cloud network. And my my house home cloud um, my home network. So um, so this is my uh, laptop or uh, desktop PCs, and uh, I also build it in my network like this my office cloud. And uh, I want to use the VMs on into the same network to my. Uh, to my desktop and work positions. Uh, so I need to get the IP address from that my home router uh, to access the internet. So it's, uh, it's actually not common for uh, open site standard usage. So it's I need to um, I need to kill the open stack cloud. It should be servers because I don't need that. I want to use uh, my home routers of the server, the HTTP servers. So yeah, it's a bit complicated, but uh, not so uh, issues for my usage. And uh, after that, I wanted to update my uh, OpenStack cloud. So uh, it's. Very easy. It was very easy. So update the repo uh, URL and uh, just deeper update. Yeah, that's it. No configuration change. I don't need that at that time. But I'm not sure the country. <laughs> so, so after that, I uh, finally I can use uh, uh, VMs for my usage. The one is uh, I use it for. Uh, Mesos, this is OS. Yeah, the, it's actually there. Are, they provide uh, some instruction for that, so you can ask, you can Google it. <laughs> it's not so uh, difficult. It's very easy to use this like this, and uh, you can use a uh, uh, catalog, and uh, you can use Kubernetes uh, for that. So I actually want to. Provide you the demo uh, for this uh, operation, but uh, if there are some issues. I will talk about the, the issue slides. And uh, the other thing is a rancher. It's also uh, almost uh, maybe similar to the uh, own methods. This is like uh, this is uh, managing the containers. Uh, tools. It's very easy to use that. 
there are some uh, errors, but uh, maybe uh, this is just a uh, temporary error. So, the benefit is, oh, sorry. The, the first thing is free to use. So, if you want to use uh, uh, servers on the public cloud, you need to pay a lot of money to use that for usage, right? And the uh, low cost to start. So initial cost is very low, as you know. Uh, it's almost uh, it's very cheaper than the laptop, and uh, it's powerful. It's powerful, more powerful than uh, Raspberry Pis or like tiny uh, computers. And low network latency is uh, sometimes it's very important. Uh, so if you use a public cloud, you got a, a very low network latency for your usage. And then warm, it's hot in the winter. It's very, it's it's not a good thing actually. And uh, the issues, there are a lot of issues actually. The uh, main issue is uh, electricity cost. In Japan, the cost is very high. So if I use the three one new servers uh, during the 24 hours and uh, 30 days, it costs about uh, uh, one, one, uh, 10,000 Japanese yen. It's almost uh, like 2,800 dollars. It's an expensive. And noise. Uh, it's. <laughs> I cannot say it. <laughs> so, it's, uh, the fan is very small and uh, the rotation is very quick. So, it's very noisy. So, imagine that in, in uh, server rooms. And the space. Uh, Space. It's not so big, but uh, it uh, occupies a lot of space. Um, the failures is all also an uh, issue. So hardware failures uh, happens. Yeah, actually, I got a hardware a hard disk drive failures. Yeah, that had two hard disk drives, but uh, I. Uh, I got uh, two broken, so I need to fix and uh, reinstall and uh, reset up for that. So I need to uh, take backup, but I uh, do that. So the backup is very important. So I need to replace two broken hard disk drive. Maybe I will. Uh, so I already uh, replaced to the uh, SSD already, but uh, it's actually expensive. Yeah. So it's almost the <laughs> same as <laughs> summer price. So it's an <laughs> issue. And uh, after that, uh, abandonment, uh, I mean, I, it's, it's very costly in Japan to abandonment. So I cannot uh, put it in the just that spot. So it's very expensive to, to do that. Because of that, the hard disk failure happens, so I cannot provide you the demo in this time. At this time, so I'm now uh, preparing. I don't have the time, <laughs> enough time to that. So hopefully, I will uh, provide you uh, next time. So future work. Um, so currently. I'm now using a uh, leave 423 So now I want to upgrade uh, OpenSUSE to leave 15. I already some uh, did the sum, but uh, not uh, completed, completed yet. So and the second one is uh, use a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus as a controller node. So. So specific this case, I I think I can use a Raspberry Pi three because 
the uh, the electricity cost should be low with this uh, Raspberry Pi. And uh, it should be okay to use uh, uh, as a control mode. And uh, use more Kubernetes things for uh, learning and uh, understanding the architecture of the uh, container and the Kubernetes. So we use Varina uh, Kubernetes or Suze uh, Container as a service product. And last thing is an automation. Uh, so I I only use uh, I I did only by my hands, but uh, automation is uh, disabled because sometimes the failure happens. So I need to reinstall the way set up for that. So I'm now. Uh, thinking about that, it should be uh, better. So the conclusion. Um, so the, the initial cost is very low, but very expensive to maintain uh, uh, the servers, and uh, it's very noisy. So if, if you want to build uh, these things. Uh, you should put on to uh, a separate area. And uh, the second one is a benefit. And uh, we, uh, I could get the freedom of the cloud usage. So I can use uh, a lot of VMs as I want, uh, when I want. So uh, it's very useful for my usage. And the third one is um, uh, so on physical servers and play with that uh, very fun, right? So um, so someone really likes uh, a public cloud like uh, Microsoft Azure or Amazon AWS and uh, uh, Google Clouds, but uh, uh, building the hardware and uh, installing the operating system, uh, OpenStack. And uh, resolving a lot of issues and uh, replacing the hardware is very fun. It's very difficult and, uh, and sometimes annoying, but uh, it's very fun for me, at least. <laughs> right. And uh, there are some uh, benefits. Uh, first one, the my slides is on that, and I contact on that. So, and the last one is uh, actually this. Not my original idea. The original idea is come from the Matthew Trainish. So you can see the, the original one <laughs> slides. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Any question or something? Yeah. Is there a reason you brought three servers rather than two or four or one? Any? If, why did you buy three servers yeah. and not four servers or two <laughs> servers? <laughs> Yeah, 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 good questions. So, so for to understand the cloud architecture, one server is not enough. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I yeah, two servers might be enough, but uh, I want to do the um, like live migration features. So if you if I want that, the three is a always number. Thank you. Is that Good. <laughs> Do you have any plan that you could convert the complete load into some low power arm based translation? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's also my future work. <laughs> yeah, that should be um, lower cost for electricity. Yeah. Low power is, uh, should be good. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, as a controller node, but uh, not only the controller node, but also uh, yeah, yeah, container node. Yeah, yeah, container node. Yeah, yeah. Any others? Yeah, I uh, work on and uh, look at that. Yeah. If you have uh, any question or something, yes, yeah, please grab me. Uh,
about us. Okay, thank you, thank you very much.